and welcome to Letty Does Preacher. So in the last episode with Cassidy having broken out of the grail, um, thanks to the angel, Tulip and Jesus uh, followed Stead and they left as well. And they went back to the Holy Bar and Grail, and they found Cassidy there. So Tulip is trying to convince Cassidy to come with her, um, not to look for Jesse, just to uh, fuck it, have fun. And he says he does not want to do that, so uh, they split up for a little bit with Tulip saying that she is going to go show Jesus Vegas. And, and basically Jesus thinks about it a little more and decides that he really should go to the conference. So he has Tulip take him back and Tulip and Cassidy meet up again. And they are now uh, going to Australia, I think completely by coincidence, um, Tulip was just like, hey, let's go to Australia. And it just so happens that Jesse is gonna be there too. So it's all part of God's plan and all that, you know? Um, while they are at the Holy Bar and Grail, the angel uh, meets up with his devil girlfriend, Genesis's mother. And yeah, the two of them hook up again. And basically when Cassidy leaves, they just start murdering each other and there's dead bodies all over the place. And that's where they left off for them. Um, so I expect to see them again. Uh, let's see, Jesus goes to the conference. As for Jesse, he was in Australia. Um, Eugene and the saint find him. And Eugene basically warns him that the saint is trying to kill him. And ultimately, uh, Jesse feels bad for initially having left Eugene, sent him to hell and all that. And um, he goes back for Eugene, saying that he, you know, needs to free Eugene, um, that he isn't leaving without Eugene. And leave him alone. He just wants to hang out. Socks, Bubba, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Shut up. Mrs. Socks gets to hang out too. We all love Mrs. Socks. Rude girl. Um, but anyway, he goes back to try to make amends with Eugene. Eugene does not accept his apology and ends up shooting Jesse in the back. And then the saint shows up and we will see what happens then. But Jesse is left bleeding on the floor, dying. He might die, so. I really don't know how they're gonna pick it up from that, but guess we'll see. Preacher, season four, episode six, The Lost Apostle. Let's get started. What's up with this accent? I love you so, so much. <laughs> <laughs> I know where this is going. Dang, VHS, not even HD. Dang, God is a hairy dude. Dang, the box wasn't even nailed shut or anything. They should release a like preacher, like little action figure set with all those. Maybe a Monopoly game. She left her car door open. Wait a 
<laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I love how everyone that has an accent and they're actually like English actors, when they speak American, they need to talk gruffer. <laughs> He's in hell? Oh god, I don't want to- <laughs> You can't blame me for trying. Taking back the homosexuals. <laughs> he did shoot through the planet. <laughs> I love how Cassidy's still trying to look cool, but he has to open up his little umbrella. What? Oh, they went into the outback then? I'm pretty sure nothing can kill him, Jesse. Only he can shoot it. Didn't we already try that, Jesse? Damn it, Jesse! Here's a squiggle. You said there was none, and that's wrong. There are actual roads. <laughs> Technicalities. I like how Cass is still trying to be all chill. Oh my gosh, Ruth Mega's figure is just so on point. Oh. <laughs> That's God's place. Nice. Oh shit, he was still there the entire time. Not even batting an eye, just... Okay. <laughs> they got coffee and they have them labeled. He didn't even close the doors. Oh, they're self-closing doors. Is Cass gonna jump for him? He has no protection. Oh, is that just a bunch of fire retardant? <laughs> hey! Successful rescue! <laughs> Still mad at me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cass trying to be a mate and lying to him. <laughs> when we find God, you're making him explain the big Lebowski. No, no, I mean it. I'm the big Lebowski again! Oh my gosh. <laughs> he looks at him like, that's you. The dingo. Ew! The fuck, man? What the fuck? They really couldn't tell that it was a trap. Really, I thought they knew and they were flying willingly into it because they didn't care. 
Oh, I miss him saying Padre. Oh. Ah, Cassidy. Let me go. Oh. That's so sad. Fucking Jesse just face plants the ground. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, well, it just ended. All right, so, um, I think Jesse's dead. I don't really know why God would go through all this trouble just to kill him, but it's all part of God's plan. So I guess we'll have to see in the next episode, but we are past the halfway point of the season. Um, the next one is episode seven. So seven, eight, nine, ten. We got four more hours of story to be told and Jesse's dead. But um, yeah, I that reunion was so short, was so short lived. And so sad! <laughs> and Cassidy was already bonding again with him. He was calling him Padre again. They were friends! And then... Fall and death and splat. It was so gross. Um, but anyway. So. I... Still think that we need to see... Um, of course, when Humperdoo is found, uh, what happens with Jesus and Hitler, um, like this isn't over. And since there are so many hours left in the show, of course, Jesse, he can't die, especially not with the saint. The saint isn't even like redeemed yet and he still needs Jesse for his for his like redemption or uh revenge. I don't know. He needs to get some type of satisfaction. And if he hasn't gotten that yet, obviously Jesse's not out of the show. So um Hair Star got his penis bitten off by a dingo. Um so, <laughs> he's just getting more and more fucked up. First his eye, and then his ear, his penis. So, yeah, I, I just expect things to keep going downhill for him because, you know, the big ultimate baddie that's gonna, uh, you know, have his master plan is God, but directly Jesse's like, main villain is Hairstar, so still gonna see more of him. I don't think he's dead. Um, they have God be presented as such a sadistic character that he's probably just gonna have Hairstar suffer. And of course we haven't seen what happens with Featherstone and stuff, so there's still a lot going on. And I, I'm feeling a little confused, but also pretty excited for the finale. Hopefully everything ties up neatly. I don't fucking know with this show because this show's pretty crazy and all over the place, but I guess we'll have to see. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode, how you think the show is going in general. And that is basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Gorda. Beautiful baby mama, do you wanna come watch TV with us? Just gonna watch Mrs. Socks eat food. Hmm. She'll be back later. And you, stop glaring at her. Stop glaring at her, you evil kitty.